Brandy Geiger here with a daily dose of Brandy's Rolling Tips. So today I want to talk about the quads. That's what we're going to roll. So who has hip or knee pain? Sometimes I get a sharp pain in my hips or knees or my hips feel tight. A lot of times that can be coming from the quads. If the quads are shortened, they're going to pull on the knee because that's where they attach to. Or the hip because that's where they attach to. Also the quads can shorten because people will arch their hips all the time when they stand. So then it will pull on the hips. Also, if people have tight hamstrings or they think they have tight hamstrings, a lot of times what that can be caused from is the quads are shortening and pulling on the hamstrings because they work you know, front to back. So let's roll the quads and see if uh, that helps you. All right. So I'm going to use a trigger point roller. I like these because they're curved and they're a little more intense. You can get them at Amazon or triggerpoint.com, but you can also use just a plain foam roller. They're just not quite as intense, but they still work. All right, so we're gonna start at right above the kneecap, not on the kneecap, but right above the kneecap, and go down on our stomach, get in our GI Joe, GI Jane position. Your opposite leg is gonna be out to the side. That's gonna help control your weight on the roller. We're gonna go straight up, so that we're gonna go straight down the center of the quad. So you're not just gonna roll back and forth like this. I see a lot of people doing this. You wanna take it in little inches, like you're gonna inchworm up your leg. So it's up an inch, back half an inch, up an inch, back half an inch. Little rolls, I have a knot right here, so I'm gonna wag my leg back and forth, and I'm gonna bend my foot twice. So you have compression on the muscle, and then you have movement of that muscle, so it's gonna help you elongate it. I'm keeping my stomach up off the ground. You don't wanna sag your hips like this. Your back is gonna start to hurt. So keep your core engaged as you're doing it and the weight in your arms. So again, you can work your way up, up an inch, back an inch, up an inch, back half inch. So we're working up the leg. Wag and bend. It hurts so good. This one actually is shocking to a lot of people because people think, oh, my legs don't hurt. It shouldn't be that bad. Then they get down on here and it kills because our quads, when they shorten, they're pulling. So you're trying to elongate them, kind of like rolling out dough, okay? We're going all the way up to the hip flexor. I'm almost there, I'm gonna wag and I'm gonna bend. Okay, when I get up to the hip flexor, wag and bend, I'm gonna slightly come to the side. So now I'm up on my left arm for the left leg. So instead of rolling straight up the quad, I'm now rolling slightly off, skill, off to the side. So we're at 45 degrees. This is even more intense, okay? It's not quite the IT band, the IT band runs the outside of your leg. So now I'm gonna make my way back down. This is even more intense, okay? Just go slow, breathe, wag your leg, bend. This spot right here on me is intense because this is actually one of my hot spots for my back. So I'm gonna keep rolling down, inchworming my way. This spot's really hot, so I'm gonna wag on that and bend a couple times. Keep going, make your way back down. Now when you're doing this, you want to make sure you do it before any activity. So before football, baseball, lacrosse, running, gym time, cycling, whatever. Do it before. Because actually I'm warming up my muscles right now. So every morning as soon as I walk in the gym, I roll first. And then I go work out. Because you want that blood flow. I've got a knot right there. I'm just going to breathe and go back and forth on it. Wag and bend on it. So think about that. If you're warming up your muscles before you exercise, you're not gonna have those little pulls. It's gonna warm you up faster. Okay, make your way all the way back down. And come back up. Stretch it back. And then go on your way. So see if that helps to take away any knee or hip pain and let me know how you feel. Everybody have a great day.